Hmm. Interesting. Ah, uh, that low, that low house kind of ruins the idea of this being good. Pretty much need to run down the side, down to that point. And it's definitely faster to come up from under. All right, so I mean, intros not gonna be the hottest intros, but the chores can be pretty decent. There's only one bad house, and honestly. Even if I get that one bad house, which I probably will. Hmm, I'm happy with that. A good time for sure. Still, it's got to pass the two checks of did Nook hand me enough flowers that aren't tulips? Those don't spawn on tulips. Four cos either two cosmos and two pansies or some combination of four of those two. Out of my whatever. How many of you 
like season six or eight or something. Oh, that was that house sacred. I got confused as to where I was. Huh. Okay. Um, I got confused as to where I was. Huh. That worries me. Okay, this is a good post. Wow, I had enough flowers. I have gotten all flowers so far. <laughs> Alright, there's two of my first tulip. Even then, I had a non tulip there. <laughs> Only one tulip, that's good. Only worry is I might have not actually talked to all the villagers. I think I did. But I got a little confused where I thought I was. I thought it was two acres below the dump, but I was actually below it. Let's see. Okay, good. Two five. Also, all these villagers are in like unique acre numbers. Not that that really matters. That's how the first, very first shore. Were. Feather, that's really your name, man. How original. Mm. All right, I did get my only bad villager for my final chore. That doesn't really bother me that much. Like I said, even if I got that villager all my other chores are fast except that one oh, well I have no idea which of the four is my <laughs> carpet villager unless I map check I definitely do did not memorize those four villagers that are all bunched together as names This will still be a good chore time, even though I have an F acre chore. It's fine. As long as it don't get rain, of course. That's always gonna ruin any chores. Find the bird by mashing A and walking around. I 
think that's actually definitely on the left border. I think directly below the dump. Yep. Okay, so I did remember that one's position, even though I said I wasn't going to. Not confident enough to just run there. Though honestly, maybe I could have not map checked because I do recognize that character. I can picture that character's what that character looks like just from the name. But still, I'd like to know where I'm going. If it really was the, acre, the the villager in the slope acre, and I was wrong, then I wouldn't have seen the slope villager acre person. I might have ended up talking to this one and still ran to the wrong place. So, also I had gotten so confused about which acre I was in when I was below the dump or two below the dump, or so I definitely was not going to trust my memory on just the one right below the dump. I didn't even know I was below the dump while talking to that villager. How can I trust that memory? Maybe that was justified. Oops. What? Where's the bridge? Oh. I don't need to cross a bridge. What the fuck am I doing? Ha <laughs> I brainwashed myself into thinking that Nooks was in A1 for or A5 for a second there. That was weird. Whatever. Done weirder. I wasn't even particularly distracted at all, actually. I wasn't at all distracted there. That was just a memory issue, not a... Man, if I was paying more attention, if I was paying more attention, I would've done that exact same thing. I truly and fully just believed that Nooks was on the other side of the river. The only thing that could have prevented that mistake was not being paying more attention or anything. The only thing that could have prevented that was like looking at the map really frequently. It's ever gonna happen. So I like my downtime between things. That doesn't make any sense. So whatever.
I couldn't remember if I already had it or not, and I remembered I didn't a little late. I do think that tree is not the best tree out there in the wild, wild world. Oh my god, I said wild world while playing Animal Crossing. That's absolutely nutty. Oh, hello. 
Do not talk to the koala. The koala is your friend or whatever. Don't talk to the koala, thank you. And by the way, the koala is going to scare bugs off that tree. <laughs> Already did once. I just hope it doesn't happen too often. I really, at this point, I'm fully lost on whether or not I already have one of those, but the answer could have been no, and so I really needed to catch it. Nudging the villager over as I swing the camera to gain vision on whether or not there's a bug there. Really trying to prevent the, uh, the inevitable villager scare away off the bug tree. Oh, come on. Don't be like this. Okay, banded. It's banded jewel beetle and then ladybug. Of course, it's those three. would it be? Oh. Oh. I see. Alright, so banded. If I get banded right now, I really don't feel comfortable unequipping that in Shaking Trees because there's such a high chance I have to re-equip uh, re and catch something common. There are bugs left I can catch this split other than Banded in. Ladybug. Which is those are the ones I need before I can leave the split. Um, did I just see something weird flash by?
that means there's no March split. Walker Skeeta, can September Drone Beetle can be the next split? It's it's banded, it's banded. I can't believe I don't have a Drone Beetle. It's making me uncomfortable with not equipping it, uh, with unequipping that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can shake out trees right now. There's just too high a chance I get Drone Beetle. It doesn't feel right, it doesn't feel optimal. But I really don't want to have some sort of stupid September B because I didn't unequip net right now. That can go so wrong. Okay. Can I catch it? Down? We're still good? Damn it. Lost it. Shit. Okay. I mean, I didn't know how to handle it. Do bandits turn around at cliff walls? I don't know. Hmm. Well, that was almost the end of the split. I don't think it was catchable. I'm going to rule that that wasn't catchable, and so I should not have any negative feelings. It basically didn't spawn at all. It's the... It's the way I feel. I essentially got no ban no bugs spawning in that acre and ended up running around for zero reason. Would've been really nice. But honestly, this isn't much less nice. Oh no. Come on, don't go oh, over the border, thank you. Alright, that split over. Yeah, I could not justify unequipping net. Not with drone beetles still out. I just couldn't justify it. So that's that's a split that I normally would look for and hopefully catch B during that I was unable to even look for it at. That's pretty much a minute time off. Whatever it says I am, take a minute off of that. So yeah, I'm basically, I am ahead, I'd still say. But I should have looked for B for a whole minute there. I was unable to. B is gonna have to be later, so that, so part of that time save there is definitely fake time save. Definitely. All right, whatever. Just keep it going. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, the fact that I wasn't getting drone beetle is not an issue at all, because I, I will get drone, be drone beetle here, no problem. The problem was that if I unequipped net and started shaking trees while looking for bugs, which is the reason why I even do bees not right at the end of the first place, just because it allows for me to look for bees and other bugs simultaneously. I think that's a really big plus if you can do that in a route. A little multitasking. But it does mean that you want to do it at the end of your splits when possible because I mean, there, there was drone beetle, I got it. <laughs> oh good, during this important split the villager is asleep, that's very nice to see. So you want to do it at the end of splits because if you do get a common bug, if you have a bunch of common bugs left, every time you're looking for bugs and be at the same time, you have to have no net in hand. So occasionally you will have to shake out, or to equip net. And that loses time, and then unequip net to go back to shaking trees. You don't want, you want to minimize that. And so since I still had drone beetle, I still needed a drone beetle. And that bug is quite common. And I needed walker skate too. So it was just like there were too many bugs left that would force me to equip net that were common enough that I felt uncomfortable with. Unequipping net, shaking trees, having to re-equip the net, and just having that mess. I've dealt with that mess. I probably should have done it anyway. Probably should have unequipped that anyway, because it would have given me just more chances of getting bees. For a similar reason, I'm not shaking trees out yet. Because I still have dynasty beetle, flat stag beetle, mountain beetle, and giant beetle, of course. That's too many... Too, too high of a chance of having a bug that I don't already own spawn and make me re-equip net the second I unequip it. That's just pure time loss when you'd have to do that. 
though sometimes early in a split we'll have this situation here or unequip net here in this acre because oh never mind I was gonna say because I have no bug trees it seems like there aren't any bugs spawning but now there is one bug tree in that acre and uh, you know bell bags and s furniture do block the spawning of bugs so yeah each 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 bug each each acre has at least one currently active bug tree in it, so I feel no need to unequip and shake for that reason. Man, I really am getting... I'm unloading. Oh, there's the rare. Okay, well, that's really good to get this early. Getting the rare within the first four minutes is a great thing. Dynasty flat stag mountain beetle. It... Ugh. Now I just need the three commoner ones. It's kind of a weird angle catch. Mm -hmm. Alright, hey, Dynasty Mountain Beetle. Uh, it might be time to shake trees. <coughs> and, uh, pray. There has to be praying too. Oh, uh, I might do one more circle. Yeah, there's, there's saw. Alright, it's definitely time to shake. Oh, wait, I already had saw? Fuck. I really thought that I needed saw in Dynasty. No, it's Mountain and Dynasty. It's a complete memory issue. I'm really glad that I used the tracker, because I think I would have 100% scared away the next mountain I saw. Okay. Now we're down to one bug in the split, except for bees. So it is super time to shake trees. not I don't know about this one yeah no I keep accidentally acre flipping in weird ways that worries me I wouldn't be able to get a view there anyway I hate when bell bags are so visibly. Two, one, two. Pause. I couldn't get away. There is walls everywhere. Oh, I caught it anyway. Oh, what a weird V catch. I could not focus. I could not physically create distance between myself and the bees. And that really made things claustrophobic there. All right, now we're good on bees. I just need mountain beetle and I can leave. That was good. It's good to get bees. I think bees. Oh, another fucking giant. All right, game piss off a little bit. Oh, okay. I'm starting to feel a little nervous. This run would be so good if I got mountain beetle like now. It, was, and it, it just has the potential to go so poorly, like so so poorly as possible. This bug is not common enough to be without issue from time to time. I've had I've had the last of the July day bugs ruin so many good pace runs. There's one run notably I had 16 minutes for flat stag, which is the same likelihood as this one, aka 5%. And I did get a 1% twice there. I don't think I've actually had that happen. Two giant beetles yet while doing runs of this. Yes, dude, yes, okay. All right, this is a good pace run. The only single thing that could possibly be better is I don't have Walker Cicada and I need it in September. But like, all right, this is my first good run of this category ever. That's really happy. Um, the good thing about October and September is there are no high RNG factor bugs in either of these 
The worst is Red Dragon Fly at 5%, but even that comes up most of the time as you're going through Grasshopper, Microlips, Long Hit Locus, Praying Mantis. I do have Walker Skate left, which isn't the highest likelihood in September. But it's not. It shouldn't be an issue. And you can hear it from miles off. Gotta remember not to scare one away. Honestly, it's the hardest part of Okay. Uh, um, it's fine. The hardest part about Walker, Cicada, and September is remembering not to scare off the Walker, Cicada, and September. Alright, so this is good. This is this is my first good run that has had a pace like this. So like I said, there's only one actual bug that can screw me over, really. Other than Walker, Cicada, I suppose. At least the only one that can screw me over for luck-based issues. I mean, I guess I can have Migratory Locust spawn in a location where it becomes difficult to catch without running away. But the proper way to handle that is to not fuck with it too much. Hmm. October is like, hey, 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 you think you think you can't lose time to RNG in October here? I'm just gonna knock it to spawn bugs. I'm just not gonna spawn bugs. The hell? Where do you get off doing this shit, October? The fuck? So yeah, alright, here we go. September time. See so yeah, there's one bug that has the potential for RNG reasons to ruin this good pace. Uh, others can just spawn in weird locations. One bug left. The thing I have not mentioned so far is that there is no fall sports festival in N64, which means there is no way to guarantee no rain in N64, which means September can rain. And it's like, okay, well, big deal. I mean, October can rain too, but October rain is 10%. Doesn't really happen. September rain is 40%. Now I can get rain a solid three times with the run still being world record pace. So I am ahead enough that rain shouldn't be like the make or break it or whatever. I'm ahead enough that one rainstorm basically doesn't affect me. And two only makes it a bit harder. So please, just don't rain. Okay, that's okay. It really is okay, you know? This game has been so nice to me so far during this run that one rain shower is not going to affect the fact that I'm four minutes ahead. It's just going to make me three minutes ahead. And you know what three minutes ahead is? Good enough. Three minutes ahead is good enough. Okay. So one run rain shower with, with as good luck as I've had so far during this run, one rain shower is honestly like what you'd expect, right? There's no issue. No issue at all. Let's now be allowed to play the game though. I'm still content right now with one rain shower. Two rain showers I'd start becoming discontent. And this game would hate it if I got discontent, right? Like you wouldn't you wouldn't be a happy game. Nobody's happy when I'm discontent. So you're not gonna give me a second rain shower. And that's just how that works. That's just how that functions. Yes, thank you game. Now please don't choose one of the other ways that you could fuck me over. Oh yes, oh yeah baby. Just like that. There's the walker cicada. I had a slight amount of worry about the fact that I saved a, a rareish bug for September, but yeah, there it is. Now it's just September from here on out. Oh, that was a little unfortunate. Regular September, here we go. 
It's fine, the mantis thing's fine. I'm sure I'll see another mantis before I actually like get red dragonfly or whatever. No, the villagers scared it a bit. It's okay. Okay, good, good, good. I handled that without scaring it a bunch. Okay, three bugs left. Long-headed red dragonfly and mantis. And there's long. Okay, mantis dragonfly. I mean, those are always the two, but it's usually just dragonfly, really. It's just dragonfly, really. Mantis will come. Mantis will come eventually. There it is, yeah, yeah, dragonfly, dragonfly, dragonfly. Come on, baby. Come on, red dragonfly. Just give it to me. It's the rare one, I know, but I deserve it, okay? I do. <gasps> there it is, fuck yes! Mm-hmm, there you go. There you go. Whew. It was harder than I thought it would be to get a good run of this. But God, look at these splits. I was not that behind out of chores, honestly. Like, 30 seconds, that's normal. I mean, normal is being a minute and a half behind the world record chores, honestly. A minute 38 time save in July, a gold? <clears throat> I didn't, I couldn't get bees. I think that's part, but I mean, I did have good luck there, but I couldn't really get bees. And then how many minutes long is this July split? It's like eight minutes and, or is it eight minutes? It's like almost 27.50 to 35.50, right? So 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, it's like eight minutes and I mean, it could be four minutes. <laughs> like, there's two, there's four minutes to save there, if, if, to, compared to like absolute perfect. But uh, I did get bees during it, so that'll slow it down by like a minute or more. And the bees were, I mean, the bee catch was really good. <laughs> I still feel like N64 version might have less bee invincibility. It feels like my bee catches are too consistent, and I catch bees in especially jank and uh, very scuffed bee catches. I don't think I would have been able to catch the bees in that angle and without the, being able to create the distance necessary usually, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the hitbox is not different. It feels so, it feels like bees are freer than they should be. You never get stung by bees unless you actually cannot physically create distance, like you are backed into a corner and literally cannot run away. That's the only time I've really gotten stung in it before. So, I mean, good bee catch, but I feel like they just made it easier somehow. And yeah, the luck was fine. I got a pretty early, pretty early giant beetle, like earlier than the than others. Mountain beetle did take a little bit, but bugs will take a bit. Not an issue. October was pretty good. It was like, sure, it was a little slow. And then the only flaw in September was rain. So there's really only two two splits in this run where I had significant time loss. Uh, it looks like I lost. Okay, f five minutes would be like a god July day or July morning. Uh, and mine was eight minutes. So I lost three minutes to like what would the god run would get. Uh, one of those minutes was definitely a uh, because of bees and shaking trees. So really, it's two minutes slower than like a god July. And losing two minutes in the, in July morning is probably the split in the run. Most likely to lose you a large amount of time. It's the, it's the, I don't know. I don't know exactly how to fra phrase it. There are rare bugs in like July day. Like for example, purple butterfly and a jewel beetle are both 2% bugs. But the spawn rate of bugs is high in July. You don't have empty acres as often. And empty acres really screws with the way you have to uh, look for bugs on the N64 version. You get empty acres, then the game remembers, oh, you scared bugs off or caught bugs in these two acres, and then some other acres aren't spawning. And if you're going like a circle, you could end up back in an acre that's impossible to spawn bugs because you just got one there. So that's a factor. And also the fact that 
because all the bullshit bad bugs <laughs> have been cut from the game, or not cut from the game, they weren't in the game yet, like all the bugs in January, and things like spider, which make the acre look empty until you shake out the tree, and like snail needing rain and junk, <laughs> and no pill bug, no mole cricket, no bagworm, no pond skater, god pond skater, and then they banned it really easy because it bounces forever and doesn't despawn over acre borders, so they like made all the bugs that Lots of the bugs that are hard to get in Animal Crossing are not actually rare by percent. They're rare because of the conditions that have to be right for you to get it. Conditions in your town and the way that it spawns, for Bandit example, has to be facing you, invisible, and moving in a way that isn't just away from you, because you'll never catch it before it crosses an acre board. So, like, with this game, having all of that stripped away, the rare bugs, like, <laughs> Giant Beetle is the rarest bug in the game, 1%. I don't think of it as one of the harder bugs in a normal Animal Crossing run, because there's so much bullshit in other splits. I think of July morning as being, like, you know, after the peak, after the climax of the run, which is, like, January straight into July day with the bandit and all that. I mean, you can lose time for sure, and you can lose runs to Giant Beetle, but you can so quickly, blisteringly fast, flip a one acre in the train station and get so many encounters and in that game you almost never get no spawns <laughs> you know like july morning to me is a, is a really high bug spawn rate you enter the acre there's almost always a bug there and if there is a bug there it'll be on that tree two feet away from you and so the encounter rate that you can encounter bugs at is like the highest in july morning out of all the animal crossing gamecube and so the fact that there's a rare bug there doesn't matter because you take the rarity but then you multiply it by how quickly you can encounter in, uh, insects. There's no despawning butterflies by running away like there is in the morning and stuff like that. It really mitigates the problem of Giant Beetle being the, like, per, bu the only 1% bug in the game. This game though, percents are all that matter. The three hardest bugs are... Uh, Giant Beetle, Purple Butterfly, and Bill Beetle because it's 2%, 2%, and 1%. And July morning has like the opposite of what you'd think of in normal Animal Crossing. It has more no spawn. The no spawns, the most no spawning bug chance out of any of the splits. And uh, yeah, so that makes it all in all. This run lost two minutes in July morning, but like I kind of just really went through. That's the split easiest to lose time, and the split it's most unreasonable to hold yourself to night and high expectation. And so I lost two minutes in July morning, and September lost one minute because I got one rain shower, which is just going to happen. The end, uh, like this version in DNM Plus, you can't control rain the same way you can in Animal Crossing GameCube. You can't just have sports festival. There is no festival. There's no there's no day in September guaranteed to not rain. It's 40% the whole way through. So, when playing game, uh, N64, you can't get mad at September raining on you once. That's just going to happen. And so and so that there's that, and then two minutes in July. Uh, again, July morning. You can't really expect a better July morning than that, especially if everything else goes well. So, pretty much, I am very content with that run. I'm going to leave that there and be done with the N64 versions. And that's world record and happy and yay. Very good.